The concourse prep continues on this Ferrari 250 PF Coupe, um, taking it to Cavallino for 2023. And uh, so I'm doing a, a, you know, just the, all the things that I've talked about uh, fixing to just get it correct for the show. Some of it includes uh, some engine detailing. So I'm waiting for some valve cover gaskets. I got to do some of that. Had to paint some uh, engine parts, get them done correctly. And so I'm waiting for, for those to come back. But another part of, of concourse prep is to talk about the history of the car and uh, try to show what's correct. And, and uh, one of the things that people may have noticed on this particular car are the side vents. Um, PF Coupes don't normally have this side vent. And um, it's uh, it can cause some controversy because through the years, I mean, this is a 60 year old car. So what's happened is uh, cars get painted, they get into accidents, they change, people like to modify them. And um, one of the things that doesn't really work well at a, at a concourse is what they like to see a car as it was original. And um, what what people see is they said, well, did, did PF Coupes come with, with this side vent? And um, most cars don't. And the other thing that's interesting though is that people also ordered these cars with with uh could, could have gone to the factory and ordered it and ferrari usually would have given you whatever you wanted uh within reason and so it's very possible that these cars could have come with it originally but then it's the job of the presenter when you're taking it to a show is to prove that the car originally came with with this vent so the story on this car is uh it was uh, bought sometime in the 70s and uh, or sometimes in the 80s and it was painted red and it didn't have the side vent it was just a flat panel um, just like a regular PF coupe when the previous owner stripped the car and uh, took and looked underneath the paint there was shown on the left side that there was accident damage and that a whole fender had been replaced so then when they stripped the rest of the car and they looked at the right side of the car there was signs of a vent that was kind of patched in with a plug. So then as you look closer, the right side looked almost, it wasn't damaged. It wasn't damaged like the, the left side. So as you start forensically taking the bodywork apart and looking at it, the theory came was that this car got into an accident, had the had damage bad enough on the left side that, uh, it was easier for them to just cut the cut the grill out, patch it like a regular PF coupe, and uh, fill in the hole because probably what happened was the grill on the left side was so badly damaged that it was easier to just patch up the hole. Of course, it wouldn't match to the right side, so what they and the right side wasn't damaged, so they just took the grill out and filled it in with a plug. So they left all the details. So on the car itself. You know, there there uh, there was places where the the grill would still fit, but it was a plug on the on the right side. So you got to imagine with these cars, these grills were not exactly available. It wasn't like you could just call Ferrari and get, you know, a new grill. So it had to come from another car. Uh, people forget how hard it was to get pieces and parts in the in the seventies and eighties, where you know it wasn't like you could just call the factory. Um, and and ask for this stuff. It wasn't even like they had it on the shelf. These things were made originally. These things came on 410 Super Americas. So it could have been back in the day when when Ferrari or when somebody ordered a car, they said, "Hey, I really like those 410 grills. Can you uh, can you install it on my car?" And and Ferrari would say, "Oh yeah, sure. You know, for a, for a price." And and all of a sudden, you you'd get the 410 grill um, put on a car. Um, and and that's how we think that this car came with it. Um, the the proof is to show these pictures to the judges uh, at the show and say, hey, you know, this is this is not stuff that we're making up. It it, it really, I think this is what happened. Um, nobody would have gone through the trouble of, of of putting in the grill and then putting a plug in and then and then patching it up and and putting it in a regular uh, in any old car. So so something had shown that in the history of this car that it, it had a grill. Um, the later on, this, the the previous owner of this car, when he was doing the bodywork, 
he actually found a, a pair of grills that that someone had found in a in a you know in a, in a part swap meet out in Europe and, and brought it back um, and uh, and bought them from from him and and uh, kept it on in the side so that when one day when the car was restored uh, we could put the grill back in so when I got the car for my customer we had talked about it and decided to put the grill in um, I think it looks it breaks up the side of the car I mean uh, PF coupes tend to have this slab side view and and um, it's a very clean line but I also think that on this car particularly with the with the color matched on the on the insert and and everything else it it looks it really not makes the car breaks up that side there are other PF coupes that have had this grill um, that are documented you know and they're they're pictures of, of those cars at least two of them that I know of so it's not um, against the norm that the the PF coupe had one but it's just rare it's not a lot of them so uh, that's the story that that uh, I need to to get out there and, and show show people so when they say hey the, why is that uh, you know gr grill there for the for a PF coupe um, and uh, I'll have picture documentation and and a story to tell uh, when it when it's time to show this car so that's a that's another angle to to showing a, a Ferrari at, at a show is that they like to see originality and they question um, things that are not but uh, if you can prove with pictures and period pictures of cars and and uh, and forensic documentation to show that the car is uh, you know originally had it, it it helps with the with the process of of, uh, of showing it so you don't get points deductions for making modifications in your car that weren't original. So uh, that's that's another uh, another side to showing a a, a car at uh, at a Ferrari show. Thanks for watching.